A-B testing is one of the things that beginners oftentimes overlook or experienced sellers take full advantage of. This is what's giving experienced Amazon sellers the edge over their competition. They're continuously running split testing time over time again and understanding what's working best for them. That results in them taking most of the market share and leaving crumbs for other sellers. You don't want to be one of these typical small fish. That's why I'm going to reveal to you the exact strategies that we use in order to facilitate our split testing. Using this can help you on your journey of the climb to becoming the best sellers on Amazon. We're gonna take a deep dive in our split testing that helps us generate over $100,000 in revenue for our clients. First, I should probably cover what a split test is. Split testing in a nutshell is trying two different images and picking the image that works the best based on a series of data over time of how many people are going through and converting on the listing as well as purchasing the listing. We use this to test all of our content. Sometimes I personally think that image A is gonna do better than image B, but image B ends up being better. That that's why we always want to make data-based decisions. And how do we get data? By doing split tests. You want to create different versions of the same photo, changing one element. We want to find out what that winning element is in order to get the customer and convert them into a sale. Always remember the main images are the drivers of sales. If they're not going to click on your main image, you have no chance at selling them. Split testing is going to help us increase our conversion rate, our click-through rate, as well as increase our sales and profits. There's three main different types of sales experiments that we do. A plus content, which helps us increase our conversion rate since they're already clicked onto the listing. The product title, this way we can help with SEO and helping the Amazon Amazon's algorithm better understand our product and we can see which SEO is working best in the main image, which is the click-through rate. Amazon is actually planning on increasing the amount of experiments we can run by including the bullet points. In order to do this, brand registry is needed. From there, you go to brand, manage experiences, and manage your experience lifecycle. There are five main steps. We want to plan our experiments, create different versions of the content, set up your experiment, run the experiment, and then you interpret your results. It's so important to do these split tests so that way we can really understand what variables are actually having an impact on our sales. Sometimes we can think that it's something like the color, when in fact, the color isn't affecting anything. I had a few cases where I thought if I made a lot of variations and I came into the market with this specific product, it would make a difference. However, it made no difference at all. And in fact, the contrary. After we create these experiments, we advertise it for eight to 10 weeks, try to get as large of a sample size as possible. We analyze our results. And then from there, we act upon the data and we improve the listing. Once we get the winning listing, we start this all over again and we try to test a new variable. There's a lot of ways that we can come in and optimize our listings. We can have high quality images. We can come in and make good copywriting that is emotionally selling to our customers. We can use our customer reviews to our advantage and understand how to improve our product as well as start implementing different things we see in the marketplace for our people in different niches or improving our product in some sort of manner. A tool I really like to take advantage of is PicFu. PicFu will take images and we can compare them with other sellers in the market and people will give you feedback why exactly they like specific images. For instance, I put four images up of people in waist wraps underneath there. People gave me lots of opinions. Although from a marketing perspective, a lot of people think that having a perfect body is going to mean having more sales. But in fact, the people that had realistic bodies or even plus size bodies was more appealing to the masses. People wanted to purchase things that looked a little bit more real to them, which is funny because when you talk to different consulting agencies or sometimes you look at these Chinese sellers, they just do not have a clue. They put the gun in the most fake image you'd ever see with these fake bodies they're wondering why their conversions aren't great from there we can create different versions of our listings we can run different designs and then we can pick the winning designs based on the information we've gathered and start implementing it into the listing this process accelerates a lot of different aspects when you're first coming to market that way we can take a lot of data and really understand the consumer and start applying that data as we go marketing not only on Amazon but through the different mediums we have tried testing pricing in PicFu multiple times this helps us a lot with determining are we able to command a premium price if our product is positioned in a premium standpoint. We take all this data that helps us launch the product in the best way possible, gives us key information that we can continue to use to improve ourselves. Some common mistakes people make are by interpreting the data too soon. If we're only running the test for one or two weeks, it can be difficult to get an accurate understanding of what is actually happening in the market. Sometimes there's anomalies, sometimes there's just not enough data to really understand what's going on. So it's very imperative
imperative that we wait this time and really get an accurate amount of data that we can use to make smart data backed decisions. If your product has high search traffic, then you can take your results at a quicker rate, maybe after four weeks. If you have a slow amount of search traffic, I would encourage you to wait a little bit longer. In conclusion, there's a lot of things that we can do in order to make sure we're setting ourselves up for success. Conversions really do matter. And it's very important that we have our listing set up to get us to a successful level. If we want to be selling hundreds of thousands of dollars of product, we need to put in the time, effort, and understanding of the marketplace, who we're selling to, and why they're buying the product. Sometimes it can be very difficult to navigate these kind of things alone. I understand that. And as a solar entrepreneur myself, it's a very, very fun game, but sometimes it gets a little bit lonely. If you have a simple question, you can leave a comment in the comment section and I'll get to it. If you want more hands-on and someone to actually help you through the work with a team of experts that has been in the market and understands the market very well, you can reach out to me by clicking the link in my bio and booking a time to talk. I look forward to continuing to ship you content and delivering you value on a weekly basis. I appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe. I look forward to talking to you again soon and see you in the next video.